All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, use Auto GPT to perform functions on your computer. This is kind of like an intro lesson. I'm, I already did the installation. I did another video on that. In today's video, I'm just going to show you a very basic thing that you can do and show you the capabilities of it. So it may seem kind of complex for the task I'm doing, but this is to show you functionality, okay? I want to show you real quick the the folder that um is um that is auto gpt I'll just show you how it looks right now uh and i think it'll go into auto gpt workspace um you can see here that there's a document here called test document that's one i created we're going to create a new document today um i'm I, i'm not going to create a document myself i'm going to have uh, auto gpt do whatever is necessary to create the document okay so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this so get that out of our way <clears throat> somehow okay so we're going to open up our new command line of course run it as administrator like i said i don't know if that's necessary i just do it by habit we're going to change directory to auto dash gpt now if you need help with, with automating uh, AI development integration. I, I can actually help you with that. I offer coaching and consultation services. And um, I also offer integration services as well uh, and AI model training. So now we're gonna come here. I need to copy my image. This is from the GitHub. Copy this. I'm gonna paste this in here, okay? Come on now. I don't know if it's just frozen or what, but I think it's working. Yeah. Sorry, I'm using my VPS here and it just acts kind of weird sometimes. Come on, let's go. Copy and come here and paste. Okay, sometimes that doesn't work. That's fine. I'm going to type it in manually. Python scripts slash main dot py. So fire up our instance. It's going to ask if we want to resume. <clears throat> um, no, but we are going to do something similar. All right. So the name of what is going to be uh, create story uh, GPT. Actually, we're just going to do create doc GPT. Make it very simple. Okay. Uh, create a text document. Going to make sure to um, clarify here. A dot text document. Oh, it's dot this file named this is it <clears throat> with the words for the popular nursery rhyme for Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall uh, add it into it and save it return a message to the user to let them know you are done okay goal one create file as detailed go to uh, go to save file as detailed and goal three is going to be notify user 
Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is gonna work, but um, let's see. Notify user add detail. Okay, this shouldn't take long. And we're enter. No go for no go. Nothing else beyond that. <clears throat> Thinking. So it's gonna go ahead and do whatever it's process it needs to do. Okay, leave soon. So. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just go to uh, we're going to why. And we're going to give it uh, uh, 10 steps. See if it connects it, completes it in 10 steps. File written to successfully, already done. So now if we come here, we should see a new file in here. Oh, there's that file called This Is It. So next thing it's going to do. Um, I must maintain the professionalism and the notification to the user. Throw a trace back. I'm not sure what that is. Trace name. Py line. I'm not sure why it's giving me these error messages. I'm going to start turn error rate limit reach. Got my other bot running right now, so we're gonna go uh, Y and just go like twenty more steps and see what it negative. Let's just do fifteen more steps here. Looks like I'm hitting my API limits for the day, <laughs> so that may slow this process down. But we're gonna see what happens. I will notify that the user the task is complete. The task that the user request has now been completed it is necessary to let the user know. Thing to start their work. Notify user of task. I must maintain my, the professionalism and the notification to the user while providing clear and concise information regarding the task completion. Okay, so let's see what it says here. Okay, command start agent return. All right. Um, notify user task completion. So I'm hitting my limitations. Task completion created this task. This is it. File and add lyrics to Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme. Okay, so let's uh, close that out now. It looks like it says it's completed. So we're going to go ahead and do this. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and go to our file and take a look, see what has happened. Uh, this is it. This is the file we created. Or, huh, this is incredible, guys. This is. The computer created this file automatically through intuitive processes. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And there you go. That's a uh, basic tutorial of using AutoGPT just to kind of show you what is possible. Now imagine how you could use this in your own work. Once again, if you guys, I know this is kind of a silly example, but there's a lot of really cool things that we could do for you and your company. Uh, utilizing this process uh, just think about all the tasks that you have people doing in your business 
that you could automate using an automated system that has intuitive capabilities that's even greater than humans. So uh, this is it, folks. Until next time, have an awesome day, and we will talk back to you later.